she suffered 20 hours of hell, kidnapped and raped by her estranged husband. He tied her up with Christmas lights. He tried to suffocate her with a pillow. Let's talk about um, sex. And to add to her torment, 45-year-old um, Trevor Summers was allowed to serve as his own lawyer during his trial, cross-examining and badgering his ex when she took the witness stand. Did I threaten you to have sex? You broke into my home in the middle of the night when I was sleeping, attacked me and tied me up. I take that as, yes, you threatened me to have sex with you. Yes. It was the final insult. Summers was permitted to represent himself after he fired his attorneys at the last minute. Not a smart idea. Did I threaten you or force you to have sex with me? My answer is yes, you forced me to have sex with you. You did push me, you did hold me down, you did tie me up, you did attack me, and you did break into my home when I was sleeping. You raped me. Now in an Inside Edition exclusive, Elisa Mathewson is sharing her story. Do you think that Trevor fired his lawyer just as a ploy so that he could question you directly? Was that his plan all along, do you think? Absolutely. He wanted to cross-examine me. He wanted to have that moment in which to rattle me or just continue to abuse me. It looked like you destroyed him from the witness stand. Did you feel that rush of emotion as you were answering his question? Yes, I felt that as my confidence and my strength got stronger, I think he did really back down. Summers broke into Elisa's house while the divorce was still pending. They had five children together. After trying to smother her with a pillow, Summers put Elisa's unconscious body into his car. He was driving to a marina, police believed, to get rid of the body. But first, he made a stop at a Walgreens parking lot in Tampa. Elisa regained consciousness and realized she had to make a run for it. I was able to run and scream through the Walgreens parking lot before he was able to grab me and pushed me back into the car. Witnesses got a license plate number and notified police. Summers was arrested. Elisa was saved. I believe that he had all the intentions of coming there to murder me and kill himself. Elisa says she couldn't believe it when she was told that Summers would be cross-examining her. A bit of shock that this was actually happening, that this was going to be allowed. After all she'd been through, her point of view might be surprising. It seems unfair to have to face your attacker. I agree with the judge. I believe in our constitution and I believe that people can face their accusers. As difficult as it is as a victim to be put in that situation, it is the law. You raped me.